Hello, what I want to do in this session is to show you how to download the statistical software R and to install the package Mockin into it. R is available free online, so you need to open up your web browser and search for R. And there it is at the top, R, the R project for statistical computing. Click on that, it opens up this page. And here you will see a link to download R. Click on that and what you need to do then is to choose a CRAN mirror. This is a location near you where the R software is available from and the convention is that you choose somewhere near you. I normally choose the Imperial College one at this point. It opens up this page and then you get a choice of downloading R for different packages depending on what you have. I'm using Windows so I click on the download for Windows and even if you've already got R installed you always go here and install R for the first time and you download the latest version which is available here. Just as a matter of interest those of you who may have noticed I do have R installed already but that's an older version and it's good to update the versions every now and again. So download the latest version by clicking on that and this brings up an exe file, which is the file that you use to install R onto your computer. Don't worry about the old version being there for the time being. I like to keep these exe files, so the best idea is to transfer it onto your desktop. And you can store it later somewhere, just in case you need it again. It tells you which version it is. You can close or minimize the uh, browser for the time being, double click on the exe file, agree to go forward and install the files. You can choose your language here, mine naturally is English, press OK, next, next, it tells you where it's going to uh, install it in the program files, go to next, just accept all these accept the defaults, click next and then the final click installs it and it creates a desktop icon for you. So click that and the R package is installing. This takes a few minutes. And once the process is finished, you can click finish on that and you'll see that you have a couple of icons here. Depending on your computer, I'm using a 64-bit computer, so chip computer, so I use that one. I can get rid of that link there, move it to the recycle bin, move that out of the way just because I want to store that later on. And then if I remove or unpin the old R icon from the uh, taskbar, I can then pin this one to it. I'm pinning it as it happens next to R Studio, which I will talk about later. You can get rid of this uh, icon later. I'll keep it there just for the time being. Open this, and even if you've had R installed already, you have to reinstall packages into it. Uh, you can't use the old packages with the new version. Sometimes you might have the packages uh, stored somewhere to open up again, but you're just as well to download them because they may well have been updated too. And certainly the package Mockin and another package which I'm going to download are updated regularly. So you need to go into Packages, and here again you need to select a CRAN mirror. And the convention again is that you choose one near you. I'll choose uh, the UK Cambridge here. Click OK, and that's the CRAN mirror chosen, go back into package, packages, oops, go back into packages and go down to install packages and that brings up a complete list of all the packages that are available uh, to download and out. There are hundreds of them as you'll see. I'm going to install package Mockin, so what I need to go down to are the M's. You've got to be quite careful, careful here. I think one of the best things to do is go down to M and highlight one of these and then just use your down arrow until you get to mock and otherwise it's very easy to miss it. There are so many of them and this moves so quickly. 
So scroll down amongst the M's until you get down to where the O's might be. Here we are, until you find Package Mockham. There it is, Package Mockham. Click OK. Uh, would you like to use a personal library instead? It's asking me because it's it's got some problem here with it being writable in the way it's uh, being presented to me. You just say yes and creating a personal library within your files. Yes, just accept that. It doesn't make any difference. You never need to go into these things uh, anyway. And there the package Mockin has been downloaded. Uh, you can see here that this is the, uh, the R uh, command line here. To check if it's been downloaded, type in library in brackets Mockin. This is case, it's case sensitive, so it's got to be done exactly as it says on the, uh, in the package. I've misspelt library and if you do carriage return you should get that it loads some of the packages that are required within Mockin and you get a command line here if anything's gone wrong or the package isn't downloaded then what happens is you get an error now I also want to download another package which I'll do here just to show you called uh, person item fit it's called perfit uh, so I'll go down to the P's and down there I'll highlight one of these then use the down arrow till I get to the ease perfect there it is perfect highlight it and OK and this takes a while to download as you'll see so we'll just watch that Downloading, nearly finished. Lots of sub packages within this package here. And that's it, it's downloaded. Again, you can check to make sure that it's properly downloaded by typing in library and open brackets. And again, this is case sensitive, so it has to be written exactly as it's written there. And there it is, it's, uh, it's been downloaded. You often get error package, uh, errors saying that certain packages haven't been loaded. Uh, these things uh, don't usually affect the, the running of the, of the program. Um, anyway, you're not going to be using Perfect, you're just going to be using Mockup. So we can close down that package and one more thing that I want to do is to, you'll notice next to R I use something here called, also called R, but this is R Studio and it's a much more convenient way to run R. It picks up the package that's uh, been uh, downloaded and runs it within this, but the R Studio is helpful because it actually saves the syntax and you can often just go back in and click on the syntax without having to write it in. Uh, this is something that you'll see when you begin to use the uh, R environment so that typing in the syntax can be quite tedious. Uh, so it's well worth using R Studio. It runs in exactly the same way. So to get R Studio, you open up your browser again, go to the uh, search on your browser and type in R Studio. R Studio download, click on that, R Studio download again, and here you get the R Studio, the latest version, and you can download it for whichever package you have. In my case, it's the R Studio for Windows, for Vista 7, 8, or version 10. So uh, you just click on that, and you get another exe file. I'm not actually going to download this because I already have it downloaded on the on the computer. I'm just showing you how this works. Again, it's worth saving the exe file. When you click on the exe file, it installs our uh, studio, and you can find that under your programs are studio there where it's installed and you can actually pull this icon here as a link onto your desktop or you can pull it down into your uh, toolbar at the bottom. So that's R installed and also package Mockin 
and once you know some of the syntax for this, you're ready to do some mock and scaling. Thank you very much.